welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Monday, so it is meal prep day. I have three absolutely fantastic recipes for you. We are going to be making a delicious breakfast, lunch, and a really good cake, yes, cake inspired snack that is whole, real, clean food and WW friendly. So if you wanna see what I have in store for you for this week's meal prep, stay tuned. On a run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind For breakfast this morning, I'm going to be making strawberry shortcake oatmeal. I'm so excited about this. Really good whole food, real ingredients. I cannot wait. I'm gonna pair this with some eggs that are zero points on the blue plan. So let me first show you where I found the recipe and secondly, what is in this week's breakfast. So this is the cookbook that I picked up not too long ago. I showed this in a what I eat in a day. This is the instant loss, eat real, lose weight cookbook from Brittany Williams. Now she's lost about 125 pounds. And so she put out this cookbook that has a lot of instant pot air fryer recipes. Now, of course you can always take an instant pot recipe and cook it on your stove or an air fryer recipe and cook it in your oven, but she does a lot of instant pot air fryer recipes. So today's is actually going to be made in the instant pot, but again, you can simply make it on the stove if you don't have an instant pot. Regardless, I highly recommend her cookbook. There is seriously some fantastic recipes in here. I cannot wait to make today's breakfast. So this is the cookbook that this recipe came out of. I will link this down below for you guys. So let's get into what is in our strawberry shortcake oatmeal. First, you're going to need some milk or milk alternative of your choice. I'm going to be using my favorite forager cashew milk. You'll also need some rolled oats. Mine came from Thrive. I've talked about this a lot, but if you're new, you guys check out the Thrive Marketplace. It's an online market. Everything that they sell is good food, organic, delicious, at fantastic prices. Right now they have a promotion where if you sign up for a membership and you guys, the membership is so cheap. It's about $5 a month for the year membership. You will get $20 of free products of your choice. Every order will include free products, which is amazing. They throw things in there so you can try different things, which is really nice. And it's always for free and you get free shipping. You can't beat it. There's a link down below to join the Thrive Market. Highly recommend, especially if you want to recreate a lot of my recipes because I'm going to be buying a lot and I already have through the Thrive Market because I'm literally obsessed with it. So these are the organic rolled oats from Thrive. You always want to, if possible, buy your oats organic. They are heavily sprayed with glycosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup. So oats are one thing that organic is best and Thrive has a great deal. So this is a big bag of organic rolled oats. You'll want some flaked coconut unsweetened, and this is optional to top your oatmeal with. I am going to do this because I love coconut, and I think it's going to add a nice texture and flavor to the oatmeal. Pure maple syrup, coconut oil, salt, of course, some strawberries, and lastly, some vanilla extract. So let's pull out the Instant Pot and let's make some oatmeal. All right, so the first thing we need to do is do our strawberries. So I have my organic strawberries here. We're gonna go ahead and chop these up. I'm going to place them here in a Ziploc bag because we need to mush these up before they get added to our oatmeal. So I'm just gonna put the strawberry pieces in here and then kind of smash them up in the Ziploc bag. So let's cut up some strawberries. Emptied up my soul. You've heard it all before. Honest, but I know. Uh -huh. Left these years ago. I was young and I'm old. Still care for the void. So let's get everything into the Instant Pot. Again, if you don't have an Instant Pot, you can simply cook this the same way on your conventional stove. So in my Instant Pot, I'm going to be adding two cups of my cashew milk and I added one half of a cup of water as well just to kind of thin it out and save a little bit on the smart points. I'm also going to add one cup of my organic rolled oats from Thrive. I also have my squished up strawberries and we want about a cup of strawberries. Now I figure if this is a little more than a cup, I'm not mad about it because I love strawberries and strawberries are zero points. So if you add a little more, no fret there. We're also going to add a little bit of vanilla extract. So about a teaspoon worth or so of the vanilla extract. 
We also want to add just a pinch of salt just because that helps bring out a lot of the sweet flavors. And then the last two ingredients are going to be organic maple syrup. We want two tablespoons, so I have my tablespoon here and I'm going to put in my two tablespoons of maple syrup. That along with the strawberries is what is actually going to make our oatmeal nice and sweet and this is such a great option for a sweetener. And then the very last thing that we want to put into our oatmeal is one half of a tablespoon of our coconut oil. So we're gonna go ahead and add one half of a tablespoon of coconut oil and that's also going to add that little bit of fat here to our oatmeal and make it nice and creamy and delicious once everything is added you just want to take a spoon and just give that a nice stir by adding that coconut oil it's going to make it so the oatmeal doesn't stick to the instant pot so that's nice you don't have to worry about it all sticking to the bottom of the instant pot so you're just gonna give that a quick stir. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our lid on our Instant Pot. We're gonna set this on high for eight minutes and then we'll go ahead and release it when those eight minutes is up. I just popped the lid off of our oatmeal. Oh my gosh, yum. Look at how good this looks. It smells so good in my kitchen. It's strawberry dream in here. So I'm going to let this sit for just a couple of minutes and then we're going to put this into our meal prep containers and I'll be back to show you what I'm having for breakfast and give you the smart points. So I've let my oatmeal cool for just a few minutes, you guys. Look at this, yum. And I'm not kidding when I tell you it smells so good. So I, it makes four servings, so I have four of my meal prep bowls here. So what I'm gonna do is start with a half of a cup of the oatmeal per bowl because I wanna get as close to an even amount each day. That way I don't have more one day and less another. So I went ahead and started with the half of a cup. I'm gonna go ahead and fill all four bowls and then I'll go back with that same half of a cup and we'll keep going until we're out of the oatmeal mixture. So I still have quite a bit left. So I'm gonna go, I think I'll go about half, so about another quarter of a cup. I'm not sure that I'm gonna have enough here for a full half of a cup, but I'm just gonna keep going until my oatmeal mixture is gone and then everything will be nice and even. And then I'll show you exactly what I'm gonna do for breakfast and kind of talk about what I'm gonna choose to top my oatmeal with and we'll go over all of the points. So here is breakfast for the week. You guys, I'm really excited. I wish you could smell how good this oatmeal smells and you're getting some good fats with that coconut oil. I can't wait for this. It's going to be a filling delicious breakfast. So I went ahead and divided it out evenly into four bowls. It ended up being just shy of a cup of oatmeal per bowl. And then what I'm going to do is top it with about a teaspoon of these organic unsweetened coconut. It's zero points for a teaspoon. If you go up to a tablespoon, you it's only one point. So you can do a whole tablespoon and just add a point. But I'm just going to do a teaspoon of this for zero and just top my oatmeal with that. And then I'm going to pair that most likely just with one or two eggs. So it just kind of depends on how fast I need to get out the door as far as eggs go. And then eggs on blue plan are zero points. So as far as points go, the oatmeal itself is five points on both blue and green and only three smart points on the purple plan. Now for the coconut, it's zero. And if you're on the green plan, of course, you need to add points for eggs. But for me, this is going to be a five smart point breakfast. For lunches this week, I'm going to be doing an Emily Bites recipe, but I am just making a few modifications to make it a little bit cleaner, a little bit more whole fat, full fat food. So let me show you what is in our Emily Bites pimento chicken cheese salad. First, you're going to need some mayo. I am going to be giving you the points with light substitutions for those of you that aren't following a whole fat clean food diet. I'm gonna give you the points as well so that you can work this into your plan. But I'm going to be using the Chosen Foods Mayo. I am going to be using non-fat Greek yogurt just because I wanna make sure that I use this up. And I figure the amount that's in this whole recipe, no big deal that it's fat free, save myself a little bit of points. I'm also going to be using this organic light whipped cream cheese from Trader Joe's. Pimentos. The cheese that I'm using is this shredded mozzarella from Trader Joe's. Spices, you're going to need some paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, 
salt and pepper, and then of course some chicken. This is just the Simple Truth organic chicken breast that I hauled in this week's grocery haul. And I'm actually going to put my chicken salad on one of these Ezekiel pita breads. I got these at my local health food store. These are only two smart points a piece. So I figured this was a better point buck than two slices of bread that would cost me four points. So I'm actually going to put my chicken salad in one of my pitas. So let's get started on this week's lunch. So the first thing we need to do is cook our chicken. So I just went ahead and sprayed my pan with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to cook this chicken down until it's fully cooked through and then we'll shred it up with a fork. And this is going to be what gives us that chicken salad texture. And while this is cooking, we'll put together the rest of the ingredients for the chicken salad. All right, while our chicken's cooking, you can actually hear it in the background. We're going to go ahead and make the sauce for our pimento salad sandwich. So what I'm gonna be adding is all of the rest of my ingredients. So I'm gonna start with two ounces of cheese. I went ahead and weighed this out on my food scale. And again, I'm just using mozzarella. You could use light cheese, fat free, whatever you prefer. And then the recipe calls for about two tablespoons of pimentos. I went ahead and just did the jar that I bought. It was a pretty small jar and it ended up being about two and a half tablespoons. So close enough. And then also on my food scale, I weighed out two ounces of my whipped cream cheese. And you want your cream cheese to be at room temperature. That's going to help it mix a little bit better with all of the rest of the ingredients. And then in my bowl here, I have all of my seasoning. So salt, pepper, paprika, onion, and garlic powder. Does not look pretty. And we're gonna go ahead and add in all of those seasonings. And then lastly, we have one quarter cup of the non-fat Greek yogurt. And that's just going to add some extra moisture without adding any extra points. And that's kind of why I decided to be okay with the Greek yogurt being non-fat. Also because it is only a quarter of a cup. And I'm gonna get a lot of fat in this quarter cup of the Chosen Foods Avocado Oil Mayo. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that as well. And then we're literally just going to mix this all together. And then we're gonna put this in the fridge. Set it aside until our chicken is done and we've got it nice and shredded. And then we're just going to add our chicken directly to this sauce for this chicken salad. So I think this is gonna be really good. This is pretty wet as far as the sauce that we're gonna add the chicken to. So I think it's going to give it a nice, moist, creamy texture. And then we're just going to add this filling directly to our bread or our pita pocket. So pretty simple as far as the main portion of our lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the refrigerator until our chicken is done. All right, the chicken is coming along. I just keep kind of flipping it as it's frying up in a pan, it is just about done. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and shred it up really quick with a couple of forks. You can also use your hand mixer, whatever is easier. This is just three chicken breasts, so it's gonna be super easy with some forks. And then we'll be ready to add it into the sauce that we made. I was young and I'm old, still care for the void. Oh, we don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. So I went ahead and shredded up all of the chicken. It looks delicious. I'm not a fan of boiled chicken. I think it makes it spongy. So I like to just kind of cook it in a pan, get it nice and crispy, and then shred it up. And then here I have the sauce. So very, very simple. We're just going to add our shredded up chicken directly here into the sauce. And by the way, the sauce smells really good with the pimentos and everything. Yum. So we're just going to go ahead and add that in, stir it up. And voila, we have an Emily Bites pimento cheese chicken salad sandwich. So very, very simple. You can serve this warm or cold. I'm choosing to serve it cold. So I'm just going to divide this out evenly into my containers. And then I'll just add it directly into my pita bread at lunchtime. But look at this. Doesn't that look really, really delicious? So let's put together exactly what we're having for lunch. All right. So let's put together meal prep. So first I have the chicken salad. I'm going to be having some strawberries. These are the leftover strawberries from breakfast. I went ahead and just washed them and cut them up. And then again, I am serving this on the Ezekiel pita pocket. So basically what I want to put into my meal prep container is my salad. And I have to get five servings out of my chicken salad. So I'm going to 
be as careful as I can to make this five servings because I want the points to make a lot of sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about one fifth of the chicken salad. And then I'm just going to pop in some strawberries and I'll divide these strawberries out as well over the five meal prep containers. And then each day I will put together a sandwich with the Ezekiel pita pocket have some strawberries, and then I may have something for dessert. I'll show you that when I show you my snacks. But let's put these meal preps together, and then I'll give you the smart points. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? So lunch meal prep is done. Doesn't this look so good, you guys? I'm so excited. So let's go over the points. So the chicken salad made five servings. So on the blue, or purple plan, it is five smart points, and this is without the bread. So this is just the chicken salad if you use the chosen food mayo. If you choose to go with a light mayonnaise, you're gonna save yourself a point, and it's going to be four smart points. And then you would add the points for whatever bread you choose. Now on the green plan, the same principle applies, but it is seven smart points just for the chicken salad without the bread if you choose the chosen foods mayonnaise, or you can have it for six points if you choose a light mayonnaise. So essentially by going light mayo, you're gonna save yourself a point. So that's totally up to you. But for me, this is five smart points for the chicken salad. Each one of these pita breads is two points. So that's going to be seven smart points for my lunch. And that includes, of course, the strawberries, which are zero. So seven smart points for this week's lunch. For a snack this week, I'm so excited about these. I'm going to be making a no bake cake ball. Yes, my friends, we're making cake on WW. It, this comes from another really fantastic cookbook, so I'm gonna show that to you guys too. This is the other cookbook I bought. This is The True Roots by Kristen Cavallari. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am obsessed with this cookbook. You can see all my papers. I mean, that's how many recipes that I wanna make. She follows just a, well here, a mindful kitchen with more than 100 recipes free of gluten, dairy, and refined sugar. So basically, she follows a really whole food approach to her recipes, so I can't wait to make this. This I will link down below for you guys as well. Highly, highly recommend. I love both the cookbooks, but this one, uh, I mean, look at this. I am so excited about this one. So I'll link that down below for you guys. This is where the recipe came from. So what is in our cake balls is first you're going to need some almond flour. So you saw me haul this this last week from Trader Joe's. You'll also need some coconut flour. Again, I got this off of Thrive. Best price. You guys definitely check out Thrive. That is linked down below as well for you. Also some coconut sugar. This also came from the Thrive Market. Love coconut sugar. It is the best sugar as far as regular sugar that you can use. It's made from the palm of the coconut, so it has a low glycemic impact on your blood sugar. Fabulous, love, love, love it. You're going to need some almond milk. I'm using my favorite forager cashew milk, vanilla extract, salt, coconut oil, and maple syrup. So let's get started on these no-bake cake balls. We're ready to start these cake balls. You guys, I'm so excited for this. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and add my one and a half cups of almond flour. I'm also going to add in one third cup of coconut flour. And then I'm going to give this just a quick kind of preliminary stir. I just wanna make sure those two flours get nice and combine. Coconut flour tends to suck up any moisture. So I wanna make sure that I just don't have a big ball of coconut flour that's going to suck up all these wet ingredients. So I wanna make sure it's mixed in really well here with the almond flour. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and add one quarter cup of your milk of choice, your almond milk. We're gonna do one teaspoon of our vanilla extract. We want just a pinch of salt. Again, that also helps bring out the sweetness. I went ahead and melted down three tablespoons of coconut oil. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. Get all that out of there. And then lastly, I have my maple syrup here. I went ahead and measured out three tablespoons of maple syrup. Now the best way to do that is on your food scale. So that's exactly what I did. And then we are ready to stir this all together. Make sure everything gets nice and combined. You should have a dough-like consistency. So it shouldn't be too wet, but it also shouldn't be too dry because we need to roll this into little balls, which then makes these cake balls. So I'm so excited 
excited. The recipe says this literally tastes like cake, so I'm here for it. So let's get this nice and mixed together. We'll start rolling these out. We're actually gonna roll these in the coconut sugar before they go onto our sheet pan, but look at that. It already actually looks like cake batter. So we're ready to roll these out. We wanna get about 18 cake balls. So I'm not sure the size. I'm going to have to try to wing it a little bit and get as many balls as I can. If I get more than 18, great. It'll just lower the smart points, but my goal is 18. So I'm going to go ahead and roll out the little cake ball and then we're rolling it in the coconut sugar. Oh my gosh, how fun you guys. And then we're just going to put it here on our sheet pan and we're just going to keep doing that until we've rolled out 18 little cake balls. And then I'll be back to show you what they look like and give you all of the smart points. Love, what do we do to love when everything's said and done? What do we do to love? So, here are our cake balls. I actually ended up getting 23, so these would be pretty good size if you only got 16. And I also wanted to show you this is how much sugar I have left. So, this was a quarter of a cup, and I probably use half of that. I probably use about an eighth of a cup of sugar. So with using less sugar and actually getting 23 cake balls instead of 16, it actually cut the point in half, which is awesome. So each one of these little cake balls is two smart points. Originally my recipe, they were four, but because of cutting down on the sugar and getting more cake balls rolled out, it really cut those points in half. So each one of these is two smart points full of really good whole ingredients. You've got some fat in there from the coconut oil. Oh my gosh, I'm excited about these. I'm gonna throw these in the freezer for about an hour. You wanna get them nice and hard, and then we'll throw these into a container with a lid, and we'll just store them in our refrigerator. What we do to love when everything's said and done? So here are my snacks for the week. We're keeping it simple. I generally have a smoothie, so that's why I have really limited snacks here. Again, I don't eat all of these every day. I like to change it up, but I've been loving my smoothies and I've been loving this cottage cheese combo. So what I've been using is this Good Culture Whole Milk Cottage Cheese. You guys, this cottage cheese, I don't know what it is about it. It's a very small curd. It's nice and thick. Here, I'll show you guys. You have to see this. So see, it's nice and thick. There isn't much liquid in here. Oh my gosh, I seriously love this cottage cheese. So I have one serving of this cottage cheese and it is three smart points. So one half of a cup, three points. There's your nutritional information. Really, really good ingredients. Seriously, the flavor, there's no comparison between lighter fat-free cottage cheese and this cottage cheese. I take this any day of the week. There's 14 grams of protein, so I'll have that for three points. And then I'll pair that generally with one or two points worth of my crackers. I'm in, obsessed with the Simple Mills brand. These are the Rosemary and Sea Salt. I picked these up off of Thrive. Again, another great reason to join the Thrive market. These are so good. And also from Thrive, these are really, really good as well. These are the Mary's Gone Crackers, Super Seed Everything Crackers. These have good ingredients. These have amazing ingredients, like nothing questionable at all really really good ingredients and you guys they're so good and hearty oh my gosh they're just full of seeds really really good so i like to dip those in my cottage cheese so good so that'll be one snack and then of course i always like to have a belt bar so i went ahead and pulled two out for you this one the black cherry chocolate these are three points so the majority of the built bars are three points with the exception of any of the bars with nuts but then there's an exception to that. So all of the bars are three points, including the coconut almond. Any other of the nut-based bars, like the peanut butter here, the toffee almond, those are all four points because of the nuts. Now, for me, I'm okay taking the extra point for the peanut butter because one, it's delicious, and two, it has 20 grams of protein, seven fiber, and seven grams of fat. So it has more fat in it, fiber and protein, which keeps you full. And it's made with organic peanut butter with little chunks of peanut. So I like the nut-based bars. I'm more than willing to spend the extra point. But in the event that I want to save a point or just want a different flavor, these ones are also a great option for three points. They have 15 grams of fiber, or 
fiber protein. That would be a lot of fiber. 15 grams of protein, six fiber, and four fat. So still a really, really good option. I love the Built Bars. They are not a clean food. They do have a couple of questionable ingredients, but like I've always said, for these smart points, you're not going to find a better bar for your smart point bang buck. Buck bang whatever. You're not going to find a better protein bar for the smart point value than the built bar. So I highly recommend them. If you're interested, I do have a code for them that will get you 10% off and free shipping. It's here on the screen. And there's also a link down below. If you click the link, it'll automatically apply the discounts and the free shipping. So check out built bar. It's just nice to have these on hand. They taste really, really good, like a candy bar. And again, for the smart points, slash the ingredients. These are a great option. So those are going to be this week's snacks. Thank you for joining me on another weekly My WW Meal Prep. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Just to let you know, I do follow the blue plan on WW, but I do take a clean approach to my eating, which means that I try to eat as clean as possible. Little to no processed foods, no sugar-free, fat-free, light anything. I try to just eat food in its most natural state, whenever possible. So that is kind of the plan that I follow here on my channel. So these recipes fall right in line with that. Speaking of recipes, they are all linked down in the description box below for you, as well as all of the links and discounts to some of my very favorite things and the link to come on over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of our community. We are almost 15,000 strong and it is a very loving, supportive, wonderful place to be. Lots of great ideas, tips and tricks are shared there. So come on over and join us. If you're new, welcome, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed and your notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a single video. If you love meal preps, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And of course, leave those comments down below. I want to know which of these recipes or all of them are you super excited to try. Thank you so much for spending some of your Monday with me and I'll see you in my next video.